So I went to Phoenix without any clothes, and even though it was a little bit stressful, I still found two pretty cute outfits. But what if I went somewhere colder? Like, Canadian colder? What if instead I had to go to three different stores where I had a limited amount of time in each one in order to find two complete outfits? It's the Empty Suitcase Show, and we're going to Montreal. <laughs> cold there. I'm Jen. <laughs> Jen's coming too. <laughs> Jen, we're on our way to Montreal. We are. We look like we're dressed for two completely different locations. I have a slit. Well, I also have a slit, you just can't see it. <laughs> You're Jen. not special. When you told me you were bringing a thicker jacket, I almost had an anxiety attack. Yeah, you freaked out at me. I did freak out at you a little bit. It's like very comfortable in this airport lounge, and I am cold. Can you see the planes in the background? Those are real, they're not CGI. We don't have the budget for that. <laughs> to hopefully finding clothes in Montreal. That is mostly champagne. Yeah. Oh, we just landed in Montreal. We did just land in Montreal, and when we were looking out the window, there was snow on the ground. The weather is supposed to be a wintry mix. How cold could it possibly be? I'm honestly pretty warm right now. We're indoors, Kristen. <laughs> it is heated. Smash cut to you being freezing. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to be like, it's not that cold. It's Decent. not that bad. I know we can see my breath. I can see both of your breaths. <laughs> okay, wow, it's so cold here. Oh no. It's not Chicago, we're fine. It's totally fine. Let's go. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Wow. It's so much better. See, I knew I shouldn't have brought a coat. But that's your takeaway, yep. Uh-huh. This is Kristen's room. Ooh, wow, this is so nice. Ooh. We have like a little seating area with this TV. But then if you come over here, we got a bed with this TV. Wait, there's two TVs in this room. I know, that means we can watch the same thing at the same time, but we don't have to look at each other. Want to see a magic trick? Ooh. Montreal, baby, the city of sin. We're off to dinner, trying not to get my dress wet. Because <laughs> it's the only one I have. So fine, I can definitely wear this for the next 12 hours until I get close. All right, so we are on our way to go shopping. Yay! Uh, we're going to three stores today, Additional, Pennington's, and Tony Plus. Oh my god, that is three. That is three. Phew. I will have 45 minutes at each store. That Total. seems like not enough time for you. Well, we planned for 45 minutes, so here we are, lady. Yeah, all right, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> Looking for an additional close to where we are. There isn't one in Montreal proper, so that's why we have to go a little bit further. We are crossing a river to get to the plus size close. It is a journey. We're going and we're going and we're going. It's wet and it's cold. Hurry up, cause I'm doing my cold dance. So this is Jen, who is head of PR for Additionnel. You mentioned that the reason why we have to travel so far outside of Montreal to get to a plus size store is because there just aren't any really in Montreal. Yeah, I mean, traditionally it's a very European city. And as you kind of know, European fashion doesn't really cater as much to the bigger sizes. Cause like we were driving over a frozen river. <laughs> but we were like, wow, we are going far. I mean, as a plus size customer, it's yeah. frustrating because you want to be able to like feel the fabrics and try things on and it's not all always easy to buy something last minute, as you know, online, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm wearing the clothes I was wearing on the plane yesterday, so <laughs> I know. In, in Quebec particularly, our official languages are French and English, uh -huh. so any label has to be bilingual. So it's really expensive for brands to translate. A lot of major brands don't come here. Montreal is very neglected. Uh, I have 45 minutes. You do. And then I gotta leave. <laughs> you do. And you're keeping track of the time. I am. Hit me with those minutes, girl. <laughs> I was not it. expecting that. 45 minutes on the clock starting now. Uh, 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 oh my god. I'm just gonna start handing you things. Okay. All the sizes are in like for different countries and so I gotta read through a lot of sizes. I'm just sort of going through and just like being like what do I like? I'm just pulling it out and if I like it I pull it out and then I'll, I'll just figure it out later. I just walked in a big circle. <laughs> Hi! Oh, hello, hi! And Are we in dress codes? Herford would not like this. <laughs> it's a wrong video. Let's see if the coat from the display fits. It might not Sorry. be warm enough as a coat. <laughs> <laughs> We're wasting time We're wasting on loud breathing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you wear a red coat. I 
looked at this the second I saw it. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> when my eyes landed, they were seeing. Oh, oh. Hello, Meg Ryan. Oh. You have 37 minutes left. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, she still has to try stuff on. Yeah. Well, yes. we'll see. Oh my god, this is stressful. Are you my size boyfriend? No, you were not. <laughs> so I have 15 minutes left. I have to be in the dressing room. Okay. Which is still it's cutting scary. It a little cutting it a little close. <laughs> I will never understand the difference between 0x, x, and 1x. Yeah, what? Welcome to my hell, girl. Those are very like Sandy from Greece vibes. And I am Sandy. And I'm greasy. <laughs> This might be a little bit too shiny. Ooh, but it is fun to play with. If you want clothing that's also a toy. Do you like wearing gold things, Kristen? I like wearing anything if it's not this anymore. <laughs> well, looks like we're gonna succeed. <laughs> Should we go to the dressing room sooner than 15? I am nervous. So these are negligees, but I'm wondering if I could turn this into like a little bit of a top. I could turn anything I want to a top, <laughs> except for pants. Those will never be a top. <laughs> Listen, some people are not verse and we just gotta accept that. <laughs> are you gonna get a new bra here? Possibly. I think red actually would be a cute peekaboo. I wasn't gonna get a bra today, but. When opportunity knocks. When opportunity knockers. <laughs> okay, I have to go try things on. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. <laughs> That's me. I, I'm gonna go try things on. Godspeed, Kristen. I have no idea what is in there. It's like exploratory surgery. I hope the patient lives. Good luck, doctor. <laughs> All right, Kristen, you have 17 minutes left, just so you know. What? Yep. Oh, cute. Oh, hi. I didn't hi, know you'd be oh, ready. Hi. 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 I really like this. I might get a slightly bigger size. Okay. Um, also, this bra is cute as hell. It is very cute. I don't mean to show it off. Oh, you mean to. Oh, oh my. Hello. Are we in Vegas again? <laughs> I didn't do that in Vegas. What up? Oh my god, this? I like it. You see dresses like this on the rack and you're like, I don't know how it's gonna work. And then you put it on your body and you're like, oh, that's how it works. I, I feel like wedding dress shopping is like that too. I, I would not know, <laughs> but I agree. This is all the stuff I'm still considering and we've been to one store. I'm in trouble. Caitlin, I'm in trouble. Yeah, you're a little f***ed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, in a good way, because everything looked amazing. Oh, I, I love to be f***ed in a good way. Oh, that's not going in the video. Wait. Okay, good. <laughs> Kristen, you got 14 minutes left. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. <gasps> Wait, <laughs> this is so... Cute. Holy crap bag. <laughs> Punch me in the tooth right now. No, I'm not gonna. Okay. Too precise. My, my fist is this big. <laughs> 12 Jared, minutes. Your oh. Library books are overdue. Punish me. <laughs> I love this look. I you also don't wear blazers that often, no. I feel like. 10 minutes left, Kristen. Hi. Hello. I gotta pick a belt. Ooh, okay. Um, I like this one better already because it's got more personality, I think. You don't like the plain but intelligent girl? I think this was. With the zipper? <laughs> Also, we have like two minutes left. It's decision time. I have like a minute left. I gotta hurry. Uh, I'm gonna get some tights. Oh, shoot, choices are hard and I hate it. Kristen, we have one minute. I know these are newly pierced ears, but do you think I can hold very heavy earrings? I mean, no. You don't believe in me. <laughs> or my lobes. <laughs> All right, we're done. We're getting out of here. All right, we found a lot of stuff in addition L. It was really awesome. Now we're gonna go to the next store. Hit me with those stores, girl. So we are here at Pennington's. Because I took too long at addition L, I have 30 minutes yeah. to get in and out. I think you can do it. You're wiser, we're both older, we know what we want. 30 minutes begins now. Okay, oh boy, oh, 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 oh. What are you? Are you stretchy? Oh, yes. Okay. She's stretchy. Back off, boys. She's stretchy. I'm gonna get me some jeans. I like that you're doing this the most difficult way. <laughs> That's how you know I've earned it. Do I want a dramatic poncho? Yes, I do. I answered my own question. <laughs> Is this the size I want? It's the 5X, so no. It's a 1X. That's that X I want. Thank you, next. <laughs> We're grateful for that X. <laughs> Oh, I'm going. <laughs> They're trying to escape. They won't get away from me. <laughs> oh, oh, that's nice. I, I'm trying to like only buy things that I need, but that means I have to anticipate things I haven't seen yet. I have to make choices. As the French say, it is lard. Lard. <laughs> Ooh, I love the buttons on this. It's cute. Oh, well, that's not my size. All right, moving on. She's dead to us. All the <laughs> what else we got? I love boots. Let me see if I can find that size. This is really hard. <laughs> I'm too greedy. Uh oh, I'm hooked. I'm hooked on something. <laughs> Ooh, do you want a hat? We'll come back. Just take it. Just get the just just get the hat. Maybe a little sweater too. Oh, nope, not my size. Okay. 
Just kidding. Every time I see a moto jacket, I'm just like, do I want the moto jacket? Even though I literally just got this moto jacket. And put it in the dressing room. Get another one. No, so we can have a friend. Uh, 17 minutes. Okay. Ooh, sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, jewelry. Don't mind if she does. <laughs> let's go try things on. Ooh, leggings. <laughs> okay, let's try things on. Oh, hello. Wait, where'd Jen go? Oh, there you go. <laughs> I like oversized jackets. I actually really like the buttons on this. The buttons on that are really nice. A quick PSA. It is very important to have different varieties of boots for plus size women because plus size women often can't fit in two straight size boots. Hello. 13 minutes left, by the way. Hi. Oh. Isn't this a beautiful coat? This is a gorgeous coat. It's so nice. Oh, also it has a hood. She's <laughs> beautiful. Okay, I know I wasn't supposed to try on another moto jacket. You have but, six minutes. But I did. Oh. This is a great moto jacket. This I love moto, moto jackets. jackets. And all I have is my yellow one. And. Two that, other two black other ones at home, but they're at home. <laughs> also, look at these boots. Oh, well, they're black boots, but they have so much personality. Yeah, they do. Oh, and also the hat. Wait, yeah, the hat rounds out the entire outfit. If anyone tells you you can't wear a hat, you tell them that I said shut up. Everyone can wear a hat, okay. but me especially. Yeah. Now I got choices to make. Okay, we just finished at Pennington's. I actually did it in the time limit. Pretty impressive. Yes, yeah. I'm very impressive. Now let's see if I can get <laughs> in and out of the next store in 45 minutes. Let's go. Tony Plus. Bonjour, hi. Bonjour. Bienvenue, comment allez-vous? I do not speak French. Oh, how are you? <laughs> Welcome to Tony T. Thank you. Montreal we're, City. We're super excited to be here. Already I see all sorts of things that have piqued my eye and yeah. I'm real excited to get into. All right, Kristen, your 45 minutes starts now. Okay, let's go. Can we please talk about this? This is very nice. I know. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, I'm not used to hearing that. It's the same coat, but in red. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful too. I know. Gosh. Our this Batman top. I enjoy when a loose silhouette still understands that you have arms. There's a lot of winners. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. The must have in your closet, uh -huh. la jupe crayon. Pencil skirt? Pencil skirt. <laughs> what up? Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah. I haven't purchased a winter coat in 10 years. Oh, also, when I first saw you, I was like, where did you get this dress? And you said it was from here. Yes, from here? it's just over here. Okay, let's go visit the dress. So oh. you have it in black. Oh, like, wow. But Ooh. to get off from the black, you have the goldish one. Should we go try some stuff on? Yeah. Oh, hi. Ooh. What's oh, up? Oh my gosh. This is pretty. Yeah, this is very beautiful. <laughs> I know, it's so pretty. This is the first thing you're trying on. Usually oversized things on me just kind of look like sacks, but like this works. Let me put my glasses and then we can oh, see that we, we are, are twins. Oh, are we twins? <laughs> and me. You're the other sister. I'm the other sister. I'm the unmarried one. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? I know. I almost don't even want to try on the other color now because I'm already in love, but I feel like I'm going to fall in love twice and then I'm going to have two boyfriends. And then what am I going to do? Marry both of them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's the answer. Whoa. This Whoa. coat. Oh. Oh my god. It is exquisite. Oh, other coats are gonna be ruined for you after this. I know, length is so yeah. good. I feel like Madeline. I have to take it off you now. You have to take it off, but maybe I'll gonna put it back on. Maybe. <laughs> Hi. It's the blue coat, but a little bit shorter. But underneath it is this. Okay, this is a cool look. Still an exquisite jacket, even in a different color. And I was like, there's no way the gold one could get better. And then I tried on the black one, and now I'm like, uh-oh. And guess who's wearing the know, same? See? Oh my god. I guess not... who? And me too. <laughs> <laughs> the more I wear this version, I kind of like this version better. Really? Okay, well, you gotta go with your heart. Hi. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, this is incredible. Isn't this amazing? You're not a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Ooh. Okay, this is beautiful too. What the hell? <laughs> The shirt tucked in, and we have like a little pencil skirt. This is the pencil skirt. I know. A la jupe crayon. Fine. I don't even know how to picture what the final looks are gonna look like because I feel like I'm just torn on so many things, and so are you. Yeah, neither am I quite yet. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we're out of time, but I'm being nice. I'm done. C'est fini, you're done. We are done. Oh, it was nice having you here. It was nice having you. Uh, we just finished the Tony Plus, uh, and we got some goodies, and we are all finished. Goodbye. Au revoir. Au revoir. Merci beaucoup. Shopping's over. Shopping is over. Oh my god. <laughs>
Okay, I needed to find uh, things for cold weather for two distinctly different activities. Because tomorrow we're going to be doing a walking food tour of old Montreal. <laughs> and then after that, we're going to be doing our tasting menu at Pastel. Oh my god. You feel like you found what you needed? I do, which is good because I think I'm going to burn these clothes. Yeah. I don't know what you picked. It's a secret I will have the answer to tomorrow, and I'm excited about that. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Uh, I'm getting ready. We're about to go on our food tour. Are you ready to see my outfit? <laughs> so ready to see your outfit. All right, outfit number one is coming down the pipe. Woo! Down the elevator. I'm so excited to see what you picked. Hi. Oh my God, what the fuck? <laughs> Look at you. What the hell? Oh my god, your highlighter looks amazing. Thank you. Unrelated. The outfit's good too. The outfit is incredible. <laughs> Beautiful shade of red. Thank you, you wear it incredibly well. Thank you. My boots are Pennington's. My tights are additional. This coat is additional. This shirt is Pennington's. And this dress and these earrings are additional. All right, let's start that food tour. Okay. Let's get this bread. Hi, Kristen. Ronnie. Hi. No, nice to meet you. How are you? Welcome to the uh, cultural and culinary tour of Old Montreal. Yes. All right. We have five food stops today, okay? So you're with a Montrealer tried and true, okay? I've been here all my life. The first stop is actually right upstairs over there, oh. and that will be at the Crew Cafe. You are actually going to start with a bagel, okay? Imagine having a co-working space that is set within an old banking institution. When I walked in, I was like, does a president live here? Yes. It's like, no, because this is Canada. This is the bagel. You put cream cheese, you put capers, you put that Atlantic salmon. So as we would say here in French, Bon appétit. Let's bone this appetite. <laughs> Cheers. That's delicious. I got like the crunch and like a little bit of the acid from the vegetables, salt from the capers, a little fat. I'm doing a salt fat acid heat thing here. Sure. Okay, East Coast babies. <laughs> How you feel about them bagels? Y'all are such different heights. So I'm like literally yeah, just. Sorry. <laughs> I'm Jewish, so I have opinions about bagels. Oh, I know. You have opinions about everything. That's true. I keep them mostly to myself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> First stop was a winner? Yes, it was oh, a winner. Are you ready for some more? I'm ready for winner number two. Cookie Stephanie's, where we're going to have a piece of gluten-free carrot cake. Help yourselves if you want, of course. Oh, that's, that's, wow. That is so good. No, I know it's there. Kaylee is being like, you should get the frosting off your face. And I'm like, it's decorative. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. We're twins. I hate saying the word moist, but it is. Moist. moist. Don't. Moist. <laughs> You're a jerk. Oh wow, this vent is hot air. Oh, let's do what? Ooh, the hot air. Blowing up a party maker. <laughs> and the third stop is a Quebec classic. It's the poutine in a setting uh, at Taberna. I feel like a proud father here, because even though I didn't cook it and all, it's just a, a cultural and a culinary delight of Quebec. It has the fries, it has the cheese curds, and that gravy. And there is that rotisserie chicken and chorizo. And there you have it, a delicacy. Wow. Oh. It's good, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's good, eh? I will say, the top half of me, very warm. The bottom half of me, a little colder. We are already at stop number four. You have wild boar sausage with the blueberries. That's right there. Santé, as we say in French, santé. Santé. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna pair this. Oh, it just cuts the fat so nicely. Salt fat has it eaten. <laughs> We're here at our final stop, Soup Soup. It is here where we're going to have pudding shoma. So loosely translated, it means unemployed man's pudding, but I prefer actually calling it ooey gooey goodness. It's comfort food, uh, par excellence, as we would say oh. in French. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, it's like cornbread cookie dough. It's like cake and pancakes had like a baby. They just covered it in like a little bit of a crust at the top. Are you allowed to eat this for breakfast? You can eat anything you want for breakfast. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Ronnie, for today. This is amazing. It was my pleasure. I'm very passionate about the city and hopefully you got to feel a little more of that passion uh, today uh, through oh, we food. Okay, we learned a lot. Yeah, we were uh, like, really, we learned so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. We're done with the food tour. Now I'm gonna go get ready for dinner tonight. Woo. Look number two coming at me and also yeah. all of you let's go inside hello this night vision. So this coat is from Tony Plus. This dress is 
also from Tony Plus. These fishnets are from Additionnel. And the earrings are Additionnel. And the shoes are from the shoe department at the Hudson Bay where the Tony Plus was. Oh, I love those earrings. Oh my God, can oh. I dangle? Can I... Yeah, dangle them. It's like a cat toy. I thought I wasn't allowed to be oh. a cat, Kristen. <laughs> you look fancy, which is appropriate because we're about to be fancy. Yeah, we're about to go do a nine course tasting menu wow. at Pastel. We ate all morning and now we're gonna eat all night. After you, you're the okay. lady. Oh, you're a lady too. I know, but I'm just falling behind in my caboose. <laughs> Okay, let's go eat. Hey, sorry, we're being children. I'm not gonna touch Kristen at all. She's wearing nice clothes. Welcome. Thank Hi, you. Thank you. I'm gonna take care of you tonight. It's actually a tasting menu, so you really don't have any choices to make tonight. It's a night nice course. That. I hate choices. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we don't test well. <laughs> we start uh, our night with our Annie's Bush. Oh my god. I've never had anything like that. It's like if an ice cream cone was made from a potato chip and it had cheese and apples inside, and then it loved me like no one ever has. It's fish. It's fish. It's bluefin tuna fish and also horseradish. That is delicious. It this sort of looks like Dippin' Dots. It does not taste like Dippin' Dots. Ooh, look at that foam. The pasta is shaped to look like the mushrooms. I'm gonna try the mushrooms, see? Just to make sure. Which is which? I, I ate one, I thought it was, I guess it was pasta, who knows? This one looks like mushroom. No, that's, I'm wrong, that's pasta. I don't know what's what. That's the mic. Yep. <laughs> I think this is the best wine pairing. I think the fish and this white are married and they have two babies and I'm one of the babies. Who's the other? Okay. I really love beef. I love beef like a lot. More. Um, my last name is Cowie, so suck it. <laughs> yeah, suck her beef, Mike. <laughs> wow, and that's the end of the bite. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. We had a great time. Everything was delicious. Well, thanks for coming. It was our pleasure. And I hope you're having fun tonight. We will. Oh, yes, we'll go have fun tonight. Yeah. Off camera. <laughs> <laughs> All four of us, me, Kristen, Caitlin, and Mike slept in this bed last night. We did. Ooh. That's why we're here. Okay, Montreal, how'd it go? Listen, I got outfits that I would not have picked at home. I will say that I think I underestimated how much leg covering I would need. I think I was yeah. like, tights! I mean, you haven't been in a climate like this for... A decade. Yeah. But the thing is that I look so cute that it's like, mm, was I a little bit cold? Maybe. Did it matter? <laughs> Not at all. You can't tell how cold someone is from a photo. <laughs> when I was planning this project, I was really surprised at how few options there were. Yeah. We had to travel like kind of far out of the city to find two stores. Thanks so much to Hotel Montville for hosting us, as well as local Montreal food tours, Additionnel, Pennington's, Tony Plus, and Pastel Restaurant. Jen, thank you so much for coming with me on this adventure. Of course, we have fun every time. I know. Where should we go next? 